Hi there potential deck builders, hi. This video here is a continuation on from my previous video which I did on handrail posts. Now this one here is all about the infilling of a handrail system for a deck. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known causes and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So for handrail design, there's actually two different building code regulations. There's B1, which is barrier design guidance, and there's F4, which is safety from falling. But the reality is that the same information is actually contained in both of them when it comes to the infilling of deck panels and that. So a link to both these documents can be found on the Robo Deck Designer website. There is actually restrictions on the, the opening and horizontal direction, which is 100 millimeters. And there's also variations on the openings in the vertical direction. Now, this is actually specified from the, the top of the handrail and also at the bottom of the handrail. And if you look at the drawings here, they show quite clearly what you can and what you can't do. Now, with the trellis, you can have a 35mm opening. Now, I had a look at our deck, which has trellis on it, and the opening here is about 80mm. And I've actually seen my daughter actually trying to climb up these building code regulations are here for good reasons but another thing about our deck although it's actually quite old now is that it's actually less than one meter above the ground so the building code regulations don't actually apply in this situation also under the barrier design guidance brochure b1 there's also a section in there over barrier imposed loads now this is just making sure that your handrail is actually strong enough in each direction there so if you look at section C.3, you'll see areas there in each direction. So for the top edge and rail, this is 0.75 kilonewtons per meter in the horizontal direction and 0.75 kilonewtons per meter in the vertical direction. Now for the inwards, outwards or downwards, this is really talking about a concentrated load, this is actually 0.6 kilonewtons and for the infill panel there is a loading on the horizontal direction of 1 kilopascal and any other direction this is actually 0.5 kilonewtons with the Robodeck Designer online tool there's two different handrail systems which are used in the design Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, there's more videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to the Robodeck Designer YouTube channel. Thank you.